I'm starting my Virginia adventure at the home of one of my personal heroes, General Robert E. Lee. Lee named his home Arlington House, and it's really a more modest dwelling than these huge faux painted pillars would suggest. But even in the 19th century, the home had an unmatched view of Washington, D.C. When the Union Army took over the estate at the start of the Civil War, they buried some Union soldiers alongside Mrs. Lee's flower garden. Eventually, they buried people everywhere. Today, 200 acres of the Arlington House estate are known as Arlington National Cemetery. Of course, Arlington is the resting place for many of the most famous individuals in U.S. history. But it's the graves of thousands of soldiers and sailors and Marines that gave me the most cause for reflection and gratitude. Many of the U.S. Marines now interred at Arlington received their training at nearby Marine Base Quantico. My nephew, Captain Drake Tony, is now serving at Quantico as adjutant for the Weapons Training Battalion. He and a couple of other officers showed me the intense training every Marine officer received. The weapons training is stressful, and it's combined with tremendous physical challenges. Standing here on one of the many obstacle courses at Quantico, I thought about trying a couple of these things, but that's really more adventure than I want. We concluded our day with a visit to the Marine Corps Museum, a remarkable tribute to the military branch that is always first to fight. Along with Arlington Cemetery, it made an excellent reminder of why any of us in this great country have the freedom to pursue whatever adventures we want.